Welcome back to the Rainbow Report. Today we're talking about our indoor grow project that we're doing. Conducting a nice little experiment. But really what I wanted to talk about was these tools, cool sprouting kits we got. We started off with this cool sprouting kit that we got from Patriot Supply, you know, and our sprouts are looking good. I mean, uh, these are about four or five days in. And, uh, you know, just got to keep watering them and, you know, pretty easy to do. But we found these really cool ball jar seed sprouters that are a little different. Not, we already have ball jars from our canning projects, so we came with these little cool lids with the strainer. Right now we're just soaking our seeds. We're going to soak our seeds for four hours. Then we're going to come back and we're going to drain them. So we've been busy. Our tomato seedlings needed uh, transplanting. So we did our normal transplanting, and they're looking good. You know, they're a little lighter of a green. We haven't been getting as much sun back here, but you know, I'm not worried about it. I'm pretty excited. These are uh, these are our uh, 2020 tomatoes. We uh, saved seeds from the tomatoes in 2020, and this will be their generation two. And then we've got some tomato robots. And then we got some Cherokee. I've never tried Cherokee tomatoes. We're trying Cherokee tomatoes this year. They're like a purplish tomato. And these Wisconsin 55s, they're liking it. I mean, these ones look the healthiest. And we got some eggplants coming in. And a quick update for our garden bean buckets. As you can see, the garden bean buckets are starting to thrive. You know, they're starting to get a third set of leaves. And Pretty soon they'll be grabbing all over this thing and uh, usually what I do is I throw in a couple of extra seeds down the bottom once uh, once they start getting like this that way there's like a second crop that comes in they can handle a few extra plants and you know I get some chipmunks eating some of my plants but you'll see I'll show you guys how good these things do uh, later in the season just for comparison uh, these are some of my yellow tomatoes that I had last year. Anybody that came over or I gave a plant to last year, those little yellow tomatoes that were really, really sweet. We saved some of those seeds and these are, I'm experimenting with only growing them under the grow light and, and they actually, the color on them is looking very healthy. The plants are looking more healthy than the ones in the greenhouse. These are indoor grown. You know, and they look very healthy. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this experiment with a grow light. I've never used a grow light before. You know, and I just, I really would like to encourage anybody out there to sustain themselves. And even these little things can go a long way. You know, um, you can make your own tomato sauce. You can, nothing like having fresh tomatoes. Okay, we've been soaking our seeds for four hours. So we're gonna drain them. We're gonna drain into this cup right here so we can reuse our water out in the garden. So we've got our, uh, we've used these handy dandy little drying racks and they're gonna dry out. We're gonna set them in a nice spot. We've got our helper, Smoke Bear, checking them out. Say hi, Smoke Bear. So we've got our ball jar, seed sprouters all set up, upside down, so air can go in there and, and get in there. And uh, I'll let you guys know how these turn out. I'm pretty excited about them. And uh, I'd like to encourage you guys to get out there and sustain in any way you can. <laughs> 